life's time to bring history back to life. A Queen of Cards TV. Hello, internet adventurers and YouTubians. Today we have a marvellous set of cards that was brought out by Sanderite um, and inserted into their packets of big gun cigarettes. Um, they're of pretty cinema stars. This is not much of a surprise since it was mainly men that still that smoked uh, when this set was issued in 1925. It was not until 1928 that Edward Bernays, who was known as the the father of propaganda, he managed to make smoking more acceptable amongst women by ingeniously transforming the humble cigarette into a symbol of female liberation from a memorable publicity stunt known as the Torches of Freedom campaign. Now, coming back to this card set, it's unusual in that the cards are very large, almost postcard size, and the illustrations include colour, believe it or not albeit sparingly in earthy tones. You see, most silent movie era cards are photographic, matching the presentation of the films themselves. This set includes an interesting mix of silent film stars, some of whom are still remembered by film buffs today, whilst many, although extremely popular in their time, have vanished into obscurity. But thanks to cards like these, they've been immortalised for eternity. Now this set of cards includes silent movie icons such as Marion Davis, Pauline Frederick, who was idolised by the great Joan Crawford, and also includes Corinne Griffith, considered by many to be the most beautiful actress of the silver screen. What do you reckon? Um, Louise Lovely travelled all the way from Australia to start her movie career in the USA and at her peak challenged even Mary Pickford's status as America's sweetheart despite not even being American herself but of course that didn't matter because she starred in silent movies so no one would hear a strong Australian accent here we have Mabel Normand who appears on Naval Woman on card number three, and her movie genre was mainly comedy, despite her personal life being shrouded by murder and violence. Now, Edna Purviance, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Pictured on card number 18, had the good fortune to appear in 30 films with Charlie Chaplin. Although her romantic involvement with him um, might have influenced this somewhat. Wanda Hawley was the leading lady in a number of silent films, including an early adaptation of The Wizard of Oz. But, unlike the conclusion of many movies, her career didn't have a happy ending. And it is reported that she was working as a call girl in the 1930s. This set also features many of the very early pioneers of the movie industry, such as Ethel Clayton, whose screen debut was as early as 1909, Dorothy Phillips, who starred in 150 films from 1911 to 1962, and also Clara Kimball Young, who works for the same film studio as the first ever movie star, the lady who was considered to, the, to be the first megastar, Florence Lawrence. Okay. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, um, see you later. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item, or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com. I'm afraid we've run out of time, but just before you go, please leave some stars below, and if you found it handy, or even mildly entertaining, give it a hand for help. And if you'd like to see 
more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track by clicking on the yellow icon.